with theatres closed in lockdown, Michelle Collins, well, she's done something quite remarkable. She has persuaded some of the UK's most famous actors to record a series of monologues to support people in the arts who are struggling during this crisis. Well, Michelle Collins joins me now. What a cracking idea. And you know what? When you get people like Sir Derek Jacobi and Serene McKellen, you've got me at those two names. Absolutely oh. brilliant. Exactly. So when I, I had the idea... Um, at home because obviously as we know you know the current crisis has um had a devastating effect on everybody but but particularly the arts and particularly theater it's had a cat catastrophic effect and you know I, I was sat at home um in lockdown keeping myself busy but just being affected being affected every day about what um was happening in my industry and i just thought oh, what can i do that would be fun as well to raise money and what could i do that was fun. Um, so I rang Equity. I found about the about the, the campaign, the fundraiser they had, which was to give cash handouts of four hundred and fifty pounds. Equity is is my union, and I asked them, would they like me to do something? And they said, um, yes. <laughs> Why do people keep texting you when you're doing an interview? It's okay, don't this worry. We can't, no thank, thankfully, we can't <laughs> see them. Sadly, I would love to see them. So, but... so I got my phone book, Lorraine. <laughs> right. I got my phone book, and I thought. If I can, and luckily I do know Ian McKellen and I do know Jack, Derek Jacobi and um, they're both really um, lovely people, lovely and obviously hugely talented. And I thought if I got them on board, then the rest would be easy. And there they are all following Leslie Manville. Oh, for goodness sake, you've got everybody, you've got Sue oh, as well. This is good. I could not believe, after two days, I had so many people and I thought, I can't do this on my own. How am I going to do this? I'm, I'm terrible at, at tech and things like Mandeep. And um, so I rang up some friends of mine who have a production company called Genesis Pictures and said, would they come on board and help me? And suddenly yeah. it all came together. And within two weeks, I've got this huge, I've got 50 of our best British talent all performing monologues. Fantastic. Because they want, they want to help, don't they, Michelle? Everybody wants to help right now. That, that's the thing. Oh. And people have got this idea that, you know, an awful lot of people that work in, if they're uh, actors or whatever, if they're working behind the scenes, they're getting fortunes. They're really not, oh, yeah. especially if you work in theatre. So it's really hard. It's totally, um, Lorraine, it's, it's a misconception that everyone thinks actors live in, in huge houses. They all drive around in, in flash cars. And, and, you know, they don't. Sort of gone are those days, sadly. You know, this... This is um, the UK, this isn't Hollywood. And, and I've done a, a lot of plays, particularly in London, on the London Fringe, and worked with a lot of young actors who are doing the shows at night, and they're all working in the day to supplement their incomes. And they work in hospitality, and now there is no hospitality. Mm. And, you know, we're hearing every day, um, you know, another theatre is closing down, people are struggling. I mean, my agent told me for theatre, basically... Probably things aren't going to go back to normal till next spring. No, which is really true. Scary. And Michelle, I don't yeah. know if you saw, but there was a sort of a, a sort of mock-up, if you like, or an illustration as to what a theatre might look like. And when you see that, I mean, I must it's... admit, my first thought was, oh well, you, you know, you're going to be able to see the stage and there's a lot of leg room. But actually, the whole experience of going to the theatre or going to a panto or whatever is that kind of intimacy. And exactly. and also, there's hard, going to be hardly anybody there, so I don't know how it's going to work itself out financially. Financially, you know whether they'll make any money, but it is oops, it is a real. It is going to change. It is definitely going it's to change. It's totally that's for sure. going to change. It's totally going to change. I mean, we hope it is a time for innovation as well and creativity. Mm -hmm. But it's really sad because people love going to the theatre. They like you say they love that feeling of being together. And I don't think watching theatre online is as great as actually going to see a show. Sure. You know that. But that's why I think you know what we've got you know, Surrey Ian and, and Derek Jacobi, but also, you know, I've got my friends from Emmerdale, from Coronation Street, yeah. from East Enders. Adam Woodjack did a monologue. Oh, brilliant. Um, oh, it's uh, good. Tanya Franks was amazing. Tanya Franks was like, oh, do you want this person? Do you want that person? Oh, I'll give you their number. And everybody, everybody just really, really wants to help, particularly, you know, us older, more experienced actors. I'm really worried that we will lose young actors. They will leave the industry because they'll become disillusioned and they won't be able to make it financially viable And anymore. that would be, and really that would be a shame. It would, it, you're absolutely right. Now, look, I have to say, you are looking super uber glam. You look fantastic in lockdown. And um, I know you're there with Mike, your partner, and he is, for goodness sake, hang on to him. What a gem. He's been doing your hair. He's been doing pedicures. They're fantastic. He's doing pedicures and manicures and making sure that you look absolutely fabulous. 
What Less a good than... idea. I know. I'm very lucky, actually. Lockdown hasn't been as awful for me as maybe some people. I think it's really been tough for people who are on their own. And I've been kept busy. I've been looking after my parents who lived down the road. Mm -hmm. um, I've been, yeah, doing my cooking. I'm still a terrible cook. But people seemed more interested in what I was wearing than what I was cooking. Yes. But, okay. <laughs> That's OK. You look very glamorous. And you've got a new addition to the family. You've got a wee dog. Oh, I've adopted. I've, I've fostered a dog from All Dogs Matter. And um, I decided to keep her. And she's oh, called Peggy. Gorgeous. Peggy, come in. She's asleep in the other chair. Yeah. Which um, she was abandoned. She was found on um, tied to a park bench in, um, oh, in a park somewhere in Brent. And she's absolutely adorable. Honestly, oh. she's... So I'm hoping that Humphrey, my other dog, my older dog, is going to... Um, he's still a little bit grumpy, but you know what? He'll, he'll be all right. They'll settle down and they'll be fine. They'll be absolutely fine. What a lovely thing to do. And I know it's your birthday. Is it tomorrow it's your birthday? It so... is tomorrow. And so does bet... Kylie. Kylie <laughs> Of course. <laughs> and I bet that man of yours has planned something gorgeous, even in lockdown. Well, Yes, he. Well, I hope. He, I don't know. I hope he has. He, um, he will have. He will have. I mean, it's difficult, isn't it, having a birthday in lockdown? I don't know. We. I think a few of my friends might come to my door and and you know give a little mm. wave mm. Or, or something. But um. But yeah, I'm I'm sort of doing all right, and I you know like I say, I think it's been tough for um a lot of people out there. But doing this has kept me really busy. In fact, I did the whole thing in in, in two weeks. Um. So if people That's want good. to watch these these monologues, um, they're on the Equity YouTube platform and there's 50 of them. And I also put writers in with that as I put Tony Grounds, who writes Our Girl. He wrote um, Ian McKellen's. Susan Udo wrote one for Leslie Manville. So, um, and they're all very different, these monologues. So I think it's a great idea. It's a great idea, Michelle. I think you're doing a brilliant job. Lovely thank to see you. you. Go away and answer all those texts. And oh, thank, thank you for joining <laughs> I want to come in your studio. I don't like it. Soon, like soon, 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 fingers crossed. I'll see you really Thank soon. Thank you so Thank much you for love. having me. Cheers.